Hello everyone and welcome to the first video of my BioPython tutorial series. Uh, I will be guiding you through the exciting world of bioinformatics using BioPython, which is a powerful Python library. And uh, in this video, we're going to discuss the basics of uh, BioPython and how you can actually install it in your local PC. So let's get started. In this video, we are going to discuss what is BioPython, features of BioPython modules, what are packages available for BioPython, and how you can actually set up Python environment in your PC and installing BioPython. BioPython is a tool for computational molecular biology which is freely available at the official website of Python, which is www.python.org. So, we need to understand what is Python first. So, Python is an object-oriented, interpreted, and flexible language that is popularly used for scientific uh, computing. So, I will explain that a bit. Python is an object-oriented programming language, which means that it allows you to model real-world entities as objects, which, uh, which can have attributes as data and methods as functions. So it can actually help you to organize, reuse, uh, and modularize your codes, right? So Python, unlike uh, compiled languages such as uh, C++ or maybe Java, Python code is executed line by line by an, in the, by an interpreter, which means that uh, it's very flexible and easier to learn. So you can actually quickly test and modify your code without the need of uh, without the need for a separate uh, compilation step. So biologists, uh, bioinformaticians, and computational biologists they often use Python for tasks like uh, sequence analysis, data visualization, and molecular biology systems. So the goal of BioPython is to make it as easy as possible to use BioPython for bioinformatics by creating high quality reusable modules and classes. So what are features of uh, BioPython? So the first and the most important one is that it is very well documented. There is an online documentation which you can find and there's also a playbook which you can download. So it's a very good documentation for BioPython. If you want to learn, you can actually go through the playbook and uh, you can learn from there. And you can also use the online documentation as well. BioPython features include pieces for various bioinformatics uh, file formats, which you can obtain from various platforms like uh, Blast, Cluster Firestars, Faster, GeneBanks, um, I mean, etc. The list is endless. And uh, you can also have access to online services such as NCBI, Expressi. Uh, you can it can also provide interfaces to programs like Cluster, DSSP, and and so forth. And uh, it's a standard sequence class, various clustering modules uh, such as AKD tree data structure, etc. So there are so many they, there are so many features you, which you can find uh, within uh, by Python. It's it's so good, believe me. And uh, during my next videos, you appreciate you have a better understanding of uh, what's going on here, and I'm pretty sure that you love my brother. And you agree, you agree with me within uh, these coming videos. It's all good. So, BioPython has got various packages which you can utilize to to perform various tasks of uh, bio, bio, bioinformatics. So, the ability to pass uh, bioinformatics files into BioPython or into Python utilizable data structures including support for the following. BioPython packages. So the ability to pass our bioinformatics files into Python utilizable data structures, it includes support for the following formats. So we have Blast output. So as you know, Blast we have online and uh, which is the web Blast. And also you have standard uh, as a standalone blast which you can uh, install or in your local PC. So it can support uh, data outputs from those uh, from those uh, blast outputs. 
And we can also have uh, Fasta, we can also have Jinpeng, we have Medline, we have PubMed, we have Closter. I mean, the list is endless. You can actually work uh, uh, with these files uh, within uh, BioPython packages. It's actually so good. Right? So these files uh, which are supported, they can be re they can be iterated over by record. I mean, there's there's so much which you can do uh, using uh, supported uh, files within BioPython packages. You can go through those records over and over again, or you can access a certain type of data you want to extract data from those files. You can actually do that, and you want to maybe to to remove a certain data from those files. You can actually do it, and maybe. It, you can do so many operations I within uh, BioPython using different uh, supported formats, right? So uh, you can actually go to deal with a uh, popular online bioinformatics uh, destinations such as NCBA, like I mean, Blast, Entries, and PubMed services. You can explore those services using uh, BioPython, and uh, you can also explore like uh, ProSize and. Uh, Swiss prod and you can also explore those entries. There's there's so much you can do and it can also provide interface to common programs like the standalone blast from NCBI with uh cluster for sequence alignment and uh command uh line tools uh, command line tools from uh Ambrose. You can actually do a lot of this a lot of things using these uh sequences which are supported. So a standard sequence class that deals with uh, sequences, IDs on sequence and sequence features. So it's basically a tool for performing common operations on sequences like translation, transcription, and you can also calculate GC content or different whatever you like to do. You can also uh, align your sequences like sequence alignment. You can also use different substitution matrices. I mean, it's so good, right? It's it's so good. So before installing BioPython in your local PC, it must have a Python environment and at least you have a supported uh, Python version. So you can actually download uh, Python from uh, your official website, which is python.org website. You can actually download there. And uh, there are some supported versions of uh, BioPython, which can allow you to install BioPython. Uh, from I think from uh, version 3.7 to 3.11 is the time of recording this video. So let's look into let's look into how you can actually verify if you have installed uh, Python in your local PC or if your PC have a uh, Python environment. So you can actually. Uh, use your command prompt cmd you can just type uh, python then get then uh, a space so you can actually verify python installation in your pc to check if your pc is a uh, python environment set you can actually open your command prompt cmd and then you can type this uh, which is python then space uh, then hyphen hyphen then version it will actually uh, print a version of Python which is installed in your new PC. So how can you install BioPython? So in this video we are going to use a simple method using pip command. So it's very easy, you have to open your CMD, your command prompt and then you will type pip install BioPython and it will actually install it. Okay. So after that then you have to verify at the installation of BioPython after you have completed and then it will actually print the version of uh, BioPython which you have installed. So I will just demonstrate uh, how to do this. So let me just open my command prompt then uh, we can actually do that. So first of all we need to, to verify if uh, if we have uh, so let's open send. So in, in 
So at first I need to verify if there is Python environment within my PC. So I will type Python, then version. It will actually print the version of Python running in my PC. So my PC is running on Python version 3.11.3. This is the version. So after this, uh, we have it to install Python by Python using uh, one of the simplest methods, which is pip. I'll just type install pip, then install, then by Python. Python. Okay. So it will actually start to install. So in this case, my PC is already having a uh, Python installed. So it will actually show this. But in your case, it will start to download uh, the packages which are required. So you can actually test uh, if you have installed uh, BioPython correctly in your PC and it will actually print the version of uh, BioPython which you have installed as well. So it's very simple. So you have to type import then bio. Oh, okay, okay. So I have to type uh, Python first. I have to type Python. Okay, then I will type uh, import, then buy, then from here I will type print, then open bracket, uh, then I will type, type buy, then underscore version, then again underscore, then I will close the bracket. So my PC is currently running a uh, Python version 8. 1.8 so so in this video uh, we looked into the basics of uh, BioPython and how you can actually install BioPython in your PC so first of all you have to check uh, if uh, your PC has got a Python environment you can check that by uh, opening your command prompt then you type uh, Python then space then hyphen hyphen then version so it will actually print the version of uh, Python which is in your PC and you can actually check uh, using the official website if that uh, version of yours is supporting uh, BioPython and after that then you can actually type uh, pip install BioPython, BioPython to install your BioPython and then after that you can check uh, if you have correctly installed uh, uh, BioPython in your PC so you have to first type uh, you have to first uh, type Python so that you can enter into the Python environment and then you have to type uh, import bio then we have print then you open brackets then bio then dot then underscore underscore then version underscore underscore then you close the bracket so it will actually uh, print the version of uh, my Python which is running in your PC if you have installed it correctly so that's it thank you guys see you next time